Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry that I haven't posted in a while. And sorry that there's just a guinea pig picture here today, but this is very important news. Um, so yesterday my hamster went missing, and I just found him last night at midnight. And so what happened is he got loose on the floor of where our bedrooms are, and that's a very messy floor. And, and I had, I looked for like six hours and I was very sad and I was about to go to bed and we check one more time and my sister opened my closet and bang, he was in my closet. And I looked there and of course hamsters moved, so he probably moved to my closet, but enough about that. Um, today I'm going to give you some tips on... What you should do if your hamster goes missing. Um, first of all, the floor that your hamster cage is on, you should always look. If you're in an apartment, I know that's harder. It's around the whole house, I know that's scary. Um, but I'm pretty sure he won't be able to get out your front door at your apartment because he won't be able to fit under the door. It's like very thin and all. But if you're not in an apartment, um, you should look on the floor that your hamster cage is at and he should be on that floor because hamsters can't go downstairs and of course not press the buttons in the elevator and stuff but um it's always up on that floor and then you should pick up everything on the floor everything and then move furniture where you think the hamster may be and fit into spots that um they could fit in and maybe bribe them with like food on the ground or treats and um, maybe he'll come out that way and just always try to go in either spots that you think they could go in, soft spots, maybe under couches because I know they love going under couches and um, Try bribing them and try putting maybe a camera out to see where he's walked at night and try to find traces of either poop or pee or any little things that he leaves behind like bedding and food. So yes and to the other tips I have for you. But you should always look in spots that are like closed in because hamsters, you know, hiding and they can fit into small things. Vents, I'm afraid they cannot get in. So, but if there is an open vent, that may be a problem. But I don't think there will be an open vent and of course they can't climb up ceilings and since I have a winter white hamster um they're very bad at climbing and so you know they're going to stay on the ground and they're not going to be able to like go on a desk or anything but yeah um they won't if your hamster is up high like mine is like on a dresser they will jump off the dresser and they will jump off the desk I'm afraid they will not stay on it. So what I did after I found him, I checked on him, I gave him some food, and I definitely gave him water because he's been out there for a while. Um, and he was very thirsty and hungry. So after I suggested check on him, give him food and water, it's a girl, sorry, and check on her too. Um, yes, I'm i afraid that's all the tips I had today. And I know it's a very scary moment, but it does happen. Don't freak out. It will do nothing. If you freak out, just relax, breathe, and go find your hamster. So, bye guys. Thank you for watching this video.